Welcome to Drink Wine Be Crafty, I'm Megan. Today I'm going to show how to take a simple design from Cricut Design Space and convert it into a shareable or sellable SVG file. Um, this will only work with a single layer black and white design, but I had to figure this out myself once I made some designs that I really wanted to put in my Etsy store and needed to convert them. So to do that, the first thing we're gonna do in the top left-hand side of the grid Click the square to make the grid go away because we need it to be just all white. And now I'm going to use my snip tool. Whatever tool your computer uses, we need to have a screenshot or just to get a picture of this. And then we are going to save this file. Now once we cut this out, that's going to be saved as a JPEG. So um, a lot of times whenever you have, you sell something on Etsy, you'll want to have a JPEG, a PNG, you'll have different types of files. So this first one is our JPEG file. Now we need to take the JPEG file and we need to convert it to a PNG file. PNG file is just where the background is transparent. So after I save this, I'm going to go to a website. It's called lunapic.com. I will share the link to all the websites I use in the description box below but we need to make this a transparent background. So go to lunapic.com. And here's what it'll look like. And you just need to go to upload and upload your picture that you just saved into this website. Okay, and then once the picture is uploaded, it says transparent right here. So we're gonna click on that. And it automatically takes the back. Sometimes it takes out all of it. Sometimes you have to do a little more, but you have to hit apply. And each time you click on a space that you want transparent, you have to click apply every time. So I'm gonna click on the B here. Click, ap click apply and so on until I get all of the white spaces transparent. Now we have our transparent background and we're going to click save. When you save an image from this website, it names it image and a bunch of numbers. So I always like to click on it and then save it as whatever I would like the name to be. And then once we have this file saved, sorry, my computer's in slow motion. Um, but once we have this file saved, now we're gonna take the PNG file and we're gonna convert it to SVG file. The website to convert to SVG is called Convergio. Um, you will just go in here and choose file and then get your PNG file. Now there are a lot of options, but it automatically puts in SVG but there are other conversion options. Don't know what a lot of them mean, but there are definitely more than one. Hit convert. It only takes a, uh, a second for, especially this file, it's not too complicated. And then it will automatically download your, I'm sorry, it will convert your file, but to view it, you have to download it. Um, so just click on download and then it will download the SVG where you can view it. Now, I have had some designs that this website just would not convert very well and if it's super detailed depending on what font you're going to use for the most part I've had really good luck with it but just to give you a heads up I don't know why I opened up so many tabs here 
Um, but just to give you a heads up that it's not going to be perfect every single time. But for a free conversion uh, website, it's the best I have found so far. If you know of any other ones, please comment that down below. I would love to know. Um, so now, anytime, especially if I'm going to sell the file, but just in general to make sure that it works well in Cricut Design Space, I just go in and I pull up the SVG file and view it. So we're going to do that real quick. And it looks good. Um, it just didn't weld together some of the letter pieces here, like for the B and the E. But I think that anytime people download files, um, SVG files that they purchase, they tend to not be welded together in some way. So yeah, if we click make it here, you can see where it didn't piece it together, just in a couple spots. But other than that, I think it turned out perfect. And I hope that this is helpful in you sharing or maybe even selling some of your designs. Um, if you like these Cricut tutorials, let me know. I'm doing new videos every Tuesday and macrame videos every Friday. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you're enjoying these videos, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.